everyone. Today's October 9th, 2022. I'm going to speak about an interesting subject that you probably never heard of. By the way, welcome back to my channel. This is something that you may never have heard of. Okay? It's about biological age tests. Biological age tests measure the age of your body, right? Not your calendar age, which is your chronological age. You need them to establish a baseline for your health so you can gauge if treatments, longevity treatments, actually reverse aging. Okay? Biological age does more than measure the passage of time. Okay? It quantifies our body's aging processes and even predicts our mortality. So it is being said. Okay? It is widely believed that this information can give us insight into how we age and the ability to reverse it. Okay? Many biological age tests use blood biomarkers okay, to determine our true age. Okay, these blood bio, some of the okay, some of these blood bio, biomarkers used to determine biological age um, are things like uh, albumin level, creatinine, pro, uh, C-reactive protein, glucose, HbA1c level, uh, bilirubin, and white blood cell count. There are others. There are others biomarkers, but it depends on what test you take. Okay. However, no biomarkers measured measured in biological age tests. Are associated with extreme longevity, like over the age of 105. They can help predict or cause mortality, but not extreme longevity. In other words, having perfect blood biomarker levels in today's age tests, excuse me, today's age, cannot determine if you will live to extremely old age. Okay, this brings me to today's subject of this video. Only one blood biomarker is strongly associated with survival behind, beyond the age of 105, and it is not found or measured in any biological age tests. Yeah, the name of this biomarker is N-terminal pro-B type natriuretic peptide, NT-pro-BMP for short. This is what we'll use in today's video. What exactly is NT-pro-BMP? The, the ProBNP peptide is known indicator for heart disease and, cardio and cardiovascular mortality. However, studies have shown that it is also associated with non-cardiovascular mortality and all-cause mortality in people free of cardio cardiovascular disease. Okay? Many other diseases associated with increased NT ProBNP um, are things, uh, diseases like uh, renal insufficiency, uh, anemia, diabetes, ischemic stroke, chronic obstructive pulmonary disease, which is COPD, sepsis, burns, severe hormonal dysfunctions, uh, and liver diseases like uh, cirrhosis. This is just to name a few. Okay? The levels of NT pro BNP progressively increase with age. Even if you are in perfect health, you exercise, you eat right, etc., etc., you follow the rules, still increases no matter what. Sadly, no longevity protocol or supplement can reduce or slow the progression of NT pro BNP in healthy individuals. NT pro BNP levels can only be reduced in people with heart failure and extremely high NT pro BNP peptide levels with the use of heart failure treatments. NT pro BNP is unique and different from other biomarkers because its levels cannot be manipulated by your diet, avoiding or eating certain foods, uh, taking a particular medication or supplement. You cannot mess with it. Once it's, it's you're done. Okay? In other words, you can play around with your diet to manipulate cholesterol, let's say. Uh, glucose, HbA1c, C-reactive protein, and on and on to bring them to healthy levels. But NT pro BMP, there is no known method in existence to manipulate its levels as of October 9th, 2022. Scientists have declared that low le low NT pro BMP levels are so statistically associated with a survival advantage of the supercentenarian age. They have also asserted that its relationship immortality was more substantial than that of all other biomarkers, including age itself. Rest assured that NT-ProBMP will be added 
to biological epigenetic age tests sooner rather than later. I promise you that. It will be the next big talk on social media because it is a biomarker that cannot be manipulated like all the other biomarkers. You did hear it first. I promise you this. You're going to hear about this thing, this, this uh, new biomarker. What are healthy levels of anti-proBNP? According to clevelandclinic.org, healthy reference levels of anti-proBNP are as follows. Okay, let's be careful, okay? A normal level of anti-proBNP, um, less than 125 pg per milliliter for people aged 0 to 74, okay? Less than 450 pg per ml for people between 75 and 99. If you have heart failure, the following anti-proB levels could mean heart function is unstable. Okay? Please listen. Higher than 450 pg per milliliter for people under the age of 50, and higher than 900 pg per ml for people age 50 or older. You would hope that if you measure your level, it will be at or below these numbers. According to your age group, the lower, obviously the lower the better, okay? It will mean that you have a biological age below your chronological age. So, you can ask your doctor, you, you can take this test, it's simple, it's a simple test. You can ask your doctor to measure this <clears throat> biomarker, right? Just with a simple blood test, okay? Researchers have created a form, by the way, researchers have created a formula that you can try to figure out where you can determine your biological age once you find out your anti-pro-BMP level. Here's the formula. Uh, I will leave the link to it in the description. But if you have, but the thing is this, if you have patients, this critical biomarker will be added to biological age tests very soon. Uh, this question was brought up to uh, Morgan Levine, PhD, on Twitter. And our response was, the anti-pro-BMP is going to be added to an upcoming new biological age test very soon. Okay? In conclusion, I am not claiming, I am not claiming that you cannot reach supercentenarian status if you have an abnormal anti-pro-BMP level. However, if your anti-pro-B, excuse me, this is this word, anti-pro-B level is not low. If, if and when you reach 90 or 95 or 100, the odds are against you, stacked against you to get to 110 or above. Just so you know, I mean, the odds are against you. All the supercentenarians above 110 and semi-supercentenarians, 105 to 109, examined by researchers, have one thing in common. They all had low anti-pro-BNP levels. Okay? You may interpret this as you please. But I don't believe in coincidences, man. I don't. I don't. I'm sorry. In a nutshell, as far as researchers are concerned, anti-proBNP is the best indicator of biological age. This is what they say. Um, if you enjoyed this information, please like the video and subscribe so you don't miss more videos like this. Subjects that you don't hear anywhere else. I try to think outside the box, okay? Because biological age tests are new. People are claiming on YouTube, people are claiming that they have a biological age 20 years younger, 15 years younger. What? Are you are you kidding me? Do you know do you know how difficult you you could say this in your mind you could think this, but I said this before in my other videos. If you don't move like a young man, you're not younger. I'm sorry. Just because you have uh, good cholesterol, there's a lot more to biological age than what you see in these tests. I'm sorry, but that's just how it is, okay? Have a great day, and I will see you soon on my next video. Stay strong. And live a whole long, healthy life. Watch your diet, by the way, and exercise. Have a great day. Bye.